Imagine holding the universe's smallest piece and its largest expanse in your hands. That's the challenge of the theory of everything. It's the holy grail of physics, the ultimate answer to how everything works, from the tiniest particles to the grandest galaxies. We've made incredible progress. We have two powerful theories, Einstein's general relativity explaining gravity in the large-scale universe, and quantum mechanics governing the bizarre world of atoms and subatomic particles. Both are incredibly successful in their domains, yet they clash. They disagree on a fundamental level like two pieces of a puzzle that refuse to fit. This incompatibility points to a deeper truth waiting to be discovered. A theory of everything would resolve this conflict, revealing a universe more incredible than we can imagine. Einstein's general relativity pictures the universe as a smooth, curved fabric of space-time. Massive objects like stars and planets create warps in this fabric, which we experience as gravity. Imagine a bowling ball on a trampoline, distorting the fabric and causing smaller objects to roll towards it. Quantum mechanics paints a different picture. At the subatomic level, the universe is a chaotic dance of particles, ruled by chance and probability. Instead of smooth curves, we find quantum jumps, uncertainties and particles popping in and out of existence. It's like trying to describe the trampoline's fabric as a collection of tiny vibrating springs. The clash is most apparent with gravity. General relativity explains the large-scale structure of the universe, from the orbits of planets to the collision of black holes. But when we try to apply it to the quantum world, the math breaks down, leading to nonsensical infinities. Quantum mechanics describes the other three fundamental forces of nature, electromagnetism, the strong force, and the weak force. These forces operate through the exchange of particles, but gravity refuses to be quantized. We haven't found a graviton, the hypothetical particle carrying the force of gravity. This incompatibility is a major roadblock. To unify the universe's laws, we need to reconcile the smooth, deterministic universe of Einstein with the fuzzy, probabilistic world of quantum mechanics. Einstein himself spent decades searching for a unified theory, ultimately without success. He wasn't alone. Generations of physicists have dedicated their lives to this pursuit, driven by the same thirst for knowledge that compels us to explore the cosmos. Stephen Hawking, a titan of modern physics, famously said that finding a theory of everything would be the ultimate triumph of human reason, for then we would know the mind of God. This quest isn't just about satisfying our curiosity. A theory of everything could revolutionize our understanding of the universe and unlock technological advancements beyond our wildest dreams. Section 5, Strings, Loops, and Quantum Dreams While a complete theory of everything remains elusive, several promising candidates have emerged. String theory, perhaps the most popular, suggests that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not point-like particles, but tiny, vibrating strings. Like different vibrations of a violin string produce different musical notes. Different vibrations of these strings give rise to the particles and forces we observe. Loop quantum gravity offers a different approach. It proposes that space-time itself is quantized, made up of tiny, indivisible loops. Imagine a piece of fabric woven from loops instead of threads. These loops at the Planck scale, the smallest possible unit of distance, could hold the key to unifying gravity and quantum mechanics. Section 6. The Fabric of Reality Stitched with Quanta Both string theory and loop quantum gravity are still under development and face significant challenges. String theory requires extra dimensions beyond our familiar four, three spatial and one time, while loop quantum gravity grapples with connecting its theoretical framework to observable predictions. The concept of quantum foam further illustrates the strangeness of the quantum world. Imagine space-time at the Planck scale. Not as smooth fabric, but as a turbulent sea of virtual particles popping in and out of existence. This foam could be the key to understanding the universe's birth and the nature of black holes. Section 7. Unlocking the Universe's Secrets 
The implications of a theory of everything are profound. It could explain the origin of the universe and the Big Bang, unravel the mysteries of black holes and dark energy, lead to new technologies based on quantum gravity, perhaps revolutionizing energy production and space travel. More importantly, it would change our perspective on our place in the cosmos. We would finally see the universe not as a collection of disparate phenomena, but as a unified whole governed by a single elegant set of laws. The future of physics, it's up to us. The quest for a theory of everything is a journey of exploration. It's about pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and daring to imagine the unimaginable. It's a journey that requires not only brilliant minds, but also unwavering curiosity and a willingness to challenge established norms. The beauty of physics lies in its universality. The laws governing the universe apply to everyone, regardless of background or belief. The next breakthrough could come from a seasoned scientist or a curious student, highlighting the importance of nurturing scientific literacy and encouraging a sense of wonder about the natural world. beyond the horizon. As we stand on the precipice of new discoveries, one thing is clear. The universe is full of surprises. The answers we seek may lie in realms we haven't even begun to imagine. New telescopes peering deeper into the cosmos, powerful particle accelerators smashing atoms at unimaginable speeds, and innovative theoretical frameworks all contribute to this grand pursuit. The theory of everything, if it exists, is not just an equation on a chalkboard, it's a story written in the language of mathematics. A story of the universe's birth, its evolution, and its ultimate fate. It's a story that connects us all, from the smallest particles to the most distant galaxies. The Unification of Knowledge the search for a theory of everything is not just the pursuit of physics but also the unification of knowledge. It bridges disciplines, inspiring collaborations between physicists, mathematicians, computer scientists and philosophers. It reminds us that knowledge is not compartmentalized but interconnected, with each discovery shedding light on other fields. This pursuit reminds us of the power of human curiosity, our relentless drive to understand the world around us. It's a testament to the power of the human spirit, our ability to ask big questions and seek answers in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges. A final thought. The theory of everything, if and when we find it, will not be the end of physics. Instead, it will be a new beginning, opening up new questions, new avenues of exploration and new mysteries to unravel. The universe, as always, will keep us guessing pushing us to expand our minds and explore the unknown with courage, curiosity, and a sense of wonder. After all, the universe is the greatest show in town, and we have front row seats.